it's Saturday afternoon. Um, finished planting everything yesterday uh, evening, right close to dark, and um, rained a little over an inch last night, so that was nice. Uh, just north of us, they had some pretty severe storms. Uh, tornadoes took some buildings down and bad thunderstorms, so we're glad we missed that, but glad we got the rain. Uh, my ancestors came from Europe to Canada, then to Minnesota, and then Michigan to here. Not sure if my grandpa was born here in Michigan or Minnesota. I'm thinking here in Michigan he was born. Uh, one of the reasons they came here to this area is because the land was cheap. And the reason the land was cheap because it was a swamp. Uh, my grandpa said they had to use a boat to get around because the place was flooded all the time. So one thing their generation did was they built these, all these uh, drainage ditches, these deep ones, I don't know, a lot of them are probably 10 feet deep or more. And they will run full in the spring, especially after a big rain. And uh, they will overflow occasionally, uh, flood the fields, but not real often anymore. And uh, the other thing they started doing, I'm guessing probably in the 50s, my grandpa started tiling the land. So all the land that's farmed, basically all of it, there's a few fields uh, that aren't, but uh, all have tile in them that uh, drains the water, excess water out of the fields into these ditches. And uh, without that, you can hardly farm the land, it's just wet. but. When it's tiled, it's it's real productive land. It's heavy, heavy clay ground. So, yeah, I'll talk a little bit more, show you some more stuff with the tile. All the original tile that are in the fields um, are either clay, that's the red ones there, or cement, uh, these other ones. <clears throat> they were short because the uh, idea is they just butt them together in the field. And actually the butt joint is where the water enters this tile. And so they would have, uh, these are four inch. They have four inch laterals uh, that run through the fields. And then on the ends, um, going this way, they have mains. Uh, either this is a six or an eight. Uh, some are tens and twelves, depending on how much uh, water is going into them. So the laterals, uh, typically run every 66 feet um, and that was standard for the time now we're going back through and uh, tiling in between I've done some of my fields I got some more to do yet um, all the new tile is the black corrugated you can see the slots in there where that water enters uh, these are continuous big reels of it there's no butt joints in them <clears throat> so we're going in between uh, so we're actually tiling now every 33 feet and it uh, makes a big difference in getting rid of the excess water. The tile doesn't pull all the water out of the field. It just gets rid of the, the uh, uh, water-laden soil and uh, dries the roots out. So it uh, makes a huge difference on, on uh, how our crops produce here. Uh, one of the old sayings that my grandpa used to say was, uh, dry year scares you to death, but a wet year starves you to death. And that was, that's typical here of this heavy ground. Uh, we do much better on a drier year than we do on a year that's too wet. So there's a look at a tile main coming into the ditch here. Uh, dry enough now, it's not running now, but uh, they will run uh, completely full. Uh, after a big so rain. One of the situations you have when there's not a deep ditch uh, beside your field, then you end up having a, uh, a pump and uh, that round thing is a big crack. Now this one here is probably around 10 feet deep where it collects the water from the field tile and then it just floats in there. They kick on and pumps the water out into this shallow ditch uh, which runs into the deeper ditch. Uh, fortunately we only have one of these we got to deal with just uh no they're not too bad it's just another electric bill and uh pump maintenance occasionally uh, that's part of um not having a deep ditch uh, beside your field